We're loading back into the game with update 12 because, well, on update 11 we did something that we've done only one time before in the past, and that is unlock a brand new leaderboard unit. That is correct, guys. We're going to unlock the new leaderboard unit, whoever it is. Now, I'm not sure if he's gonna be any good, but I'm excited to check it out because, you know, it takes a lot of effort to get on leaderboards, and if you don't have, like, for example, a unique team or a team of four players who are really really good it's really hard to get on two leaderboards guys make sure you're doing the star challenges because with the new event i'm like almost out of stars look at this i'm at uh i'm at 36 ethic stars i've been doing quite a lot of them so i'm back up again but yeah i've been i've been having to do a ton of star food challenges just to get caught up for the next update i don't know if there's gonna be an update this weekend or next weekend but just make sure you guys are as caught up as you can be. Also, go over here to buy yourself some materials. Yeah, there we go. We'll get one, two blue fruits. Why not? And get myself some cores. Oh my gosh, they like... It seems like every time I check out the shop here, these things have less and less of them. Because now there's seven of these, you see? Why are there only seven? There should be a total of at least like 20 in here. But I'm going to buy some just to level up our new guy real quick. And get him to like, I don't know, level 50 or something. I don't know. Whatever this gets him. Anyways, in order to claim your leaderboard unit, if you were able to get on leaderboards, you're going to have to run over here to where it says leaderboards. Yeah, of course. Simple, right? Yeah, and then talk to All Might. Once you talk to All Might, it says claim rewards. And there it is. We got ourselves a new Jozo Mythical obtained by achieving a top 50 infinite run by update 12. We did get, I think we got 13 on our leaderboard run. So we were very close to being top 10, but we, we were not there just quite yet. It looks like he's a ground physical unit. I did get a really good like stat roll on him. A minus, B minus, A minus. That seems, you know, decent, if I'm not gonna lie. Looking at him, he does 607 damage every seven seconds with 15.9 range. Let's go ahead and feed him all of these things that I just got for him. That'll get him level 72. Do I want that? Mm, let's get him level 50. So we'll, he's like, eh, no, yeah, whatever. We're getting level 72. There we go. Level 72 doing 2984 damage every seven seconds with 15.9 range. I unfortunately do not have anything else that I can feed into him. I've gone ahead and used it all up. Like, I didn't work. There's been so many units these updates that it's been really, really hard to actually get everything to level 100. But he does not evolve. He is a ground physical unit and... I'm sure he's not gonna be that amazing. I'll pull up like the stats for him just so we can see how good he actually is. But I'm pretty certain he's not gonna be as amazing as like the units that I already have. You know, reroll, reroll, reroll. Ah, I just want like golden farm to make things so much easier. You know, like better teacher, better ingredients, Papa Russo, kind of easy. But anyways, let's go ahead and equip him into our team. Uh, unequip Itachi, unequip Metal Knight. Let's go ahead and ring Jozo. We got our farms. Let's ring Sakuro. And then we'll go ahead and bring mm, Unequip Erwin, and let's go ahead and bring uh, Kisuke. That way we can see like a, a good amount of range that we can get from this guy and his SPA. Oh, he has a cosmetic! I forgot that you get a cosmetic. I was so confused what I had in my hand. But uh, yeah, that's his cosmetic right there. It is a big, I don't know, handler thing? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but that is our cosmetic. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's pretty mid, but if you like big handlers that look like this, it's pretty cool, I guess. It's huge, that's for certain. It makes us look like the character. But yeah, let's go all the way over here into a main story mode. I think we'll do like... I'm pretty certain he does not hit airs. So let's go into a Marines Ford Infinite. We'll go ahead and set up our team there. We'll also get some kills for our Piccolo, because I gotta go ahead and evolve him so I can like awake or evolve him so that he gets stats and then those stats i'm going to go ahead and fuse into my other units but anyways let's go ahead and load into the game i'll be right back once we're in and we're going to see how good this new guy actually is at level 72. i know he's not level 100 yet but i i just know he's not going to be meta just from what i saw on the wiki and stuff and from what i've seen on other people's videos but uh yeah i'll be right back ah so i loaded into the game and i was actually a little bit late let me go ahead and put a, a piccolo here we'll go ahead and put him down just oh ew his range is so bad. That is such a bad range. I, oh, that animation's really cool. But I hate that. That might be like my least favorite leaderboard unit so far, honestly. I don't care that he does a lot of damage, you know. That's cool and all, but look at this. 
I mean, that's a really... I, I can't lie, that's a really cool animation for the attack, especially since that's his surf's attack. But I... That, 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 it's so... The range is so short. The SPA isn't even all that low. Seven's kind of mid, you know, it's like literally mid. Like four to five is fast and then like 10 is slow. So like this is the middle of that. But gosh, he's looking kind of, uh, even, though, even though he's only like level 72, I get it, he's only level 72. But still, let me go ahead and keep upgrading my farms here. I'll be back once I max him out and we'll be able to go ahead and see if he has any potential whatsoever, even like at level 72, you know? At level 72, he can still do something, you know? He should be able to still do a lot of damage if he's gonna be a damage unit, but yeah, we'll see. Let me go ahead and max these farms out. I'll be right back. Time lapse, uh, go. So we're about to max out our farms, and uh, yeah, this this guy, his, he literally attacked once, and then the minion just barely stepped out of his 15 range, and he didn't kill it. So that was really disappointing, but it looks like on level 1, at level like 100, he does 5,062 damage. So he'll be basically twice as strong as whatever you see on this video. Let's go ahead and upgrade our Bulma here. To make things easier for ourselves, let's see how many of them we can place. One, two, three. You can only place three of him? His damage better be like 150,000. Because we're going to like basically double his damage. But we'll see what it is. Let's see how expensive he is to upgrade. So first upgrade, 1750 right there. Second upgrade, 2500. The second upgrade only goes up a little bit his damage. And his SPA goes... Uh, down a little bit so that's interesting on his third upgrade he gets octagon handler let's see what that looks like oh okay so it's it's a jump it's at least it's a circle in my opinion that's better than that lane that he has so he goes in a circle and then he does a detroit smash into the ground basically but uh yeah 8,000 damage every 6.5 seconds with 24.3 range uh okay then upgrade him again and again and again and then after that, he's going to get Distortion Impact. His damage will go up tremendously on upgrade 7. Uh, his SPA goes up again, though, but his range is finally decent. So let's get Distortion Impact and see what that looks like. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. There it is. That's what makes him really cool. It's that one attack, the animation, and the fact that the circle is finally decent. Look at this. That's a decently sized circle. You know, that's normal. It's a normal sized circle with a decent amount of range. Let's upgrade him again. And he actually only has eight upgrades. So at level 72, he's doing 40,000 damage every seven seconds with 37 range. Uh, at level 100, he does 69,000 damage every 35 seconds with seven range. So, or every seven seconds with 35 range, sorry, that was uh, the opposite there. But yeah, so he does 69,000 damage. If we do that as our DPM, he's looking extremely mid, I can just tell you that right now, but he attacks every second. So 60 divided by seven seconds times 69,000 damage times three units, he does 1.7 million damage per minute. Um, yeah, this unit, Ain't it? He's not Neta or anything. It is a cool exclusive unit though. So if you have this unit in the future, he'll be tradable and you'll be able to get this new uh, piece of rock that my uh, character is holding. Other than that, guys, I think that's it. I think even like Unevolved Piccolo would be better in my opinion. <laughs> it's multi-hit. He has more range. Let's just, I don't know. It's obvious that he, he's better, you know, the, this guy Jozo is better than Unevolved Piccolo, but I'd even say Piccolo is better than Jozo, I'm not going to lie, but yeah, that's it guys, if you did get him, congratulations, his shiny apparently looks really, really cool, I was really sad that we got like 12th, because it just meant that if two people didn't make it, I would have gotten the top 10 unit, but we didn't, and that's okay, that's it for this video guys, I'll see you later, Reese's Thesis, I gotta go to work, and I might be getting sick, but yeah, alright, Reese's Thesis, bye!